Hello and welcome to this Technic Force tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up a registration page for your webinar in Webinar Loop. One of the most important elements of setting up your webinar is setting up an effective registration page. If you don't have an awesome registration page, you probably won't have any attendees for your webinar. But not to worry, Webinar Loop makes that part easy too. From our webinars dashboard, we'll just click on Webinar Setup. And then in the sidebar, we'll click on Layout. And here we have options for both the registration template and the player template. In this case, we're interested in the registration template. So here we can click on the button that says Select and Customize. And this shows us not one or two or three, but a half a dozen professionally designed registration pages for your webinar, and you can use any of them and customize them as much as you need. So we've got options here for digital marketing, traffic management, business startup, financial coaching, professional help, and financial freedom. Probably right out of the box, some of these are gonna be a perfect fit for your needs. But even if not, it doesn't matter. If you have trouble picking just one, don't settle for one, try them all out, and Webinar Loop will track your conversion rates for each one so you'll know which one is working most effectively for you. To get started, just select the one that you like the best and then click Customize. And that will open the registration page inside Webinar Loop's amazing page editor. And with this editor, you can do practically anything. This is far from just changing the text or font or a few of the background colors. You can change, remove, or add almost any element you can think of. All of the elements are designed in blocks, so you can just click on an element to change it or adjust its settings. You can change all the text by double-clicking on the field, and there's some quick formatting tools that appear over the text field. You can quickly assign hyperlinks and undo any changes that you change your mind about. Here in the registration field, it's already set up for you. You can select the first name input, and then in the sidebar under the properties, you can select the component settings. And here you'll see the placeholder information. It was first name asterisk. And here you see first name asterisk. And you can set this as a required field so that the user has to fill it out in order to submit the form. You can do the same for email, phone, and any other registration fields that you want to add. If you want to add extra elements to this, you can just go to the top menu and select Open Blocks, and you have all these different elements that you can add to your page. For example, you might want to add an image. So just drag your block onto the page and drop it wherever you'd like to place it. And then here you can drop your files or click to upload from your system. Alternatively, if you have a URL path to your image, you can add that here. Okay, so I don't actually need an image right here on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And there's two ways I could do that. I could either just undo my last action, or I could highlight the element that I just added and hit the trash button here. So that will remove that. And likewise, I don't need this countdown timer here. I don't want to be bothered setting this one up. So I'm just going to go ahead and I could select each element separately and delete each element using the trash can or I could just select the entire box that contains all of these elements and delete that box and everything gets deleted. So let's go ahead and edit our title here. Oops, I made a mistake, so I'll undo my last move. Here we go. I'll just edit my event here. Okay, and this section here, we'll just highlight all and paste in our new text. And we can do a bit of quick formatting here. We can choose to highlight this section and bold that. And we can highlight this section and italicize that. There we go. Now let's add our image. So we'll select this image here. And we can either upload it from our system or provide the URL path. So since I have the image uploaded already, I'll just paste in a URL path and then we'll add image. And that's the one. So we just go ahead and select that. And if we want to, we can select the box and then grab any of these corner handles to resize the image. And if we decide we don't like those changes, we can just simply undo. 
And when we're happy with all the changes that we've made, we can click here to save the template. Then we can head back to webinar loop and let's go to the webinars dashboard here. And here's the webinar that we were just editing. And if we look here in the actions, we'll see that there is an option to copy the registration URL. So let's go ahead and copy that. And now in a new tab, we'll paste that URL. And here we can preview our registration page. And here's our title and our image. We can see the countdown timer has been removed. And we still have some lorem ipsum here that we have to replace. But otherwise, the registration page is looking pretty good. And the possibilities are endless with Webinar Loops Page Editor. When you're done customizing this page, you can go back to the Registration Templates page and select another and customize it. And that's how to set up professional registration pages in Webinar Loop. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.